Today I'm gonna to share with you some skincare hacks that are very, very budget friendly, but not only that, they help to target specific situations, specific concerns you have with your skin, and they help you to use up skincare that you already own. I am so excited to share this with you today. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician. I absolutely love doing these kinds of videos. I think that they are super helpful. I hope you will subscribe before you go and join the skincare fam, and let's get into it. Okay, the hack that I'm gonna share with you today isn't brand new, but I am gonna share some new information in regards to this hack. What it is, is using compressed disc masks, these little guys, if you've never seen them, I'm going to explain what they are, along with a custom cocktail that you create from your own skincare. Now, if you've never seen one of these, all they are is literally paper masks, very, very thin paper masks that have been, been compressed into this little tiny disc and you add it to liquid, it grows, sucks up all that liquid, and then you unfold it and it becomes a very thin paper mask. Now, the thing that you need to do that is absolutely important with these little masks is you need to use a reusable silicone mask over it. That is so, so important. And if you skip that step, then this dries out pretty fast and it's kind of, it kind of feels pointless almost because it dries out pretty fast. If you put a reusable silicone mask over it, this will stay hydrated with whatever cocktail you put on it, put in it for 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite cocktails. Number one, I will use my Sukiyaki Suhara as a base. It is very, very watery. It's urea based, so it's an incredible humectant, but it's in a very, very watery base, which is perfect for these little compressed disc masks. So I put some of this into a bowl, and for me, this is my kind of base where I can add in any other serums that I own as long as they are nourishing and hydrating. So think of any of your serums that you own that are hydrating, that maybe have ceramides in them, that have squalane in them, that have beta-glucan, any of those kind of things are perfect for this. You literally can create a custom mask and I think it is super duper cool. So what I will do is one of my favorite cocktails is I will put my Sukiyaki Suhara into a bowl. I will add one single dropper full of my Dermatology Needleless Serum, one dropper full. I mix it up with my finger. I put the compressed disc mask in it. I usually flip it over at some point. It sucks up all of that cocktail. When I unfold this, I place it on my face. It doesn't have to be neat. It usually won't be neat. This paper doesn't smooth like a lot of, you know, expensive sheet masks, doesn't matter. And then I put the reusable silicone mask over it. These are like two for $6. They are so inexpensive and they last forever. I mean forever. Usually, I actually don't even have to rebuy these because they go bad. I usually give these away. I end up, you know, a friend will come and I end up sending them home with them or, you know, that kind of thing. And so I have to buy more. Otherwise, I bet I wouldn't have to rebuy these, but every couple years as they finally stretch out or something, but they last forever. These little compressed disc masks are super duper affordable. You get a gazillion of them for a very small amount of money. So the investment in the kind of tools is very low and then you use the skincare you own to create these custom masks. I think it's ingenious. I've been doing it for years, but I thought I would share it again because there's a lot of new people here. I know a lot of people don't know about this little hack that you can do. And I wanted to share with you some custom cocktails. So another cocktail that I like to do, I love this Aquel. This is a licorice toner. I have talked about this for years and years as well. Licorice is anti-inflammatory. It is very, very soothing. It can help with redness and it's a pigment inhibitor. So it can help to brighten your skin over time. So this is another one. If you have picked this up on my recommendation or if you own it in your skincare arsenal, this is another great base for one of these masks and you can add to it any of the, you know, any of the serums that you own. So let's say you want to have the brightening effect of licorice, the soothing effect of licorice, but you're also, you know, you're pretty red and you, maybe you have inflamed skin. Okay. 
I could add my Aveeno Common Restore Serum to this one for a super inexpensive cocktail that has colloidal oat now, which is very, very calming, helps with redness, hydrating like crazy in this one, glycerin based, along with that licorice. And I just made myself a hydrating, brightening, soothing mask that is just perfect if I'm feeling like my barrier is broken down or I'm extra red or I just need some hydration but I also need some brightening. I mean, what a great little cocktail. And you don't need a ton of the serum, which is usually the more expensive thing in your in your skincare cabinet. These essences do not need to be expensive at all. They don't. So use this as the majority of your base and one dropper full of this and you've got a great ratio. Okay, another cocktail that I love is to take fulvic acid. You guys have heard me talk about this before, lots and lots and lots. I love fulvic acid. It is basically trace minerals. So there's, in fulvic acid, it's typically like 70 trace minerals. Now, that helps to fortify your skin. It is soothing. It can also help to penetrate whatever else you put it along with. So a lot of people will use fulvic acid mists along with oil-based things like tetrahexyl decal ascorbate vitamin C. You'll see that often with fulvic acid. It helps to penetrate that type of a product, but it works with all kinds of other things too as far as penetration. Fulvic acid is just great. Now, I like to put this one, if I wanna get a, a real fulvic acid treatment, kind of like my Elemis uh, Thousand Flower Mask, that mask that I absolutely love, that is a fulvic acid mask treatment. If I wanna do that, but in this form, I will put this as my base and I will add another serum I've talked about forever that I've repurchased. I even have it on backup. It is by Glymed. Now this is their fulvic acid elixir. It's absolutely beautiful. It is hydrating and of course it has fulvic acid. I add just like one or two little pumps to this and then put it into that compressed disc mask and it creates this wonderful, potent fulvic acid sheet mask. So cool. Okay, so of course I can mix and match. I mean, I can use the fulvic acid and I can toss in some of my all-time favorite beta-glucan from iUnique so that I get a fulvic acid hydrating calming beta-glucan mask. So you see where I'm going here? You can literally customize to whatever you have going on. Use some of the things that you have in your skincare cabinet for really, really inexpensive little investment that will last you a year. The last thing that I do want to share that I think this is so fantastic for is green tea emulsions prior to LED. Now, when we do LED treatments, there is a very, very brief burst of something called reactive oxygen species. It's brief, it doesn't last, and the benefits of LED far, far, far outweigh that very quick burst of reactive oxygen species. But if we wanna mitigate that so that we don't have to worry about that at all, we can pre-treat our skin with green tea or other antioxidants. Couple cocktails that I absolutely love are the Isentree green, Tree, green Tea Fresh Toner. I've been using this for a really long time prior to LED, as long as I remember, honestly. Sometimes though, with these compressed disc masks, I will take two pumps of my Mysama into this Isentree green tea toner. Mostly it's the toner, sucks all the way up into that mask, and I use this as basically a skin soak prior to an LED session. Now, I can also just take this green tea toner and I can add the Isentree green tea, um, this is their emulsion, like two pumps of that, and do the same thing or I can do this alone. I can literally saturate one of those compressed disc masks with this green tea toner, put it on my face, put this on over it, which is absolutely imperative so that it stays wet against that outer layer of skin as long as possible, 15, 20 minutes if you have the time, and then take that off. I like to gently pat it into my skin and then I sit under LED knowing that I have kind of some antioxidants on board ready to take care of any quick bursts of reactive oxygen species that might happen so that there's literally none when I do my LED treatment. I don't think that you need to really worry about that. If you don't wanna do um, green tea before you do your LED treatments, I literally 
don't think that there is any reason to worry about LED if you're not doing green tea. So don't stress about that. But if you do own this, this is a great way to kind of amp up that situation and soak your skin in antioxidants before you get under your LED or you put your LED mask on or you sit in front of your panel. It's such a great way to incorporate that into that modality, into that routine. Okay, guys, I hope that this was helpful. I think that these are the kind of things that make skincare really, really fun. It makes us feel like home-based, you know, uh, cosmetic chemists, if you will. Not that I'm a chemist, I'm definitely not a chemist, but it makes us really feel I don't know, almost like we're mixing up cocktails, but for our skin. I do hope you're having a really wonderful week. I hope this was helpful. I hope you'll subscribe before you go, and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.